In this video, I will show you how to make four insane text effects to take your next videos to the next level up. Typewriter effect. With the effects tab selected, you want to go over and put in your text plus onto your timeline. With that being on your timeline, you're going to want to come over to your title section and change the title to what you want. At that time, you can also change the font that you want and the color if you desire to change the color. From there, just go over to settings and then change where you want to place your text and leave it there. From there, we are going to go back over to the title section. And once you're in the title section, you want to scroll down to right on. And in the right on and the playhead being in the position that you want it to be for when you start writing your text, you're going to want to move your right on to zero zero and create a keyframe. With your keyframe selected and your timeline at the beginning, you now want to actually go over to where you want the text to be completely written in at. You're going to want to go back over to your right on. And with your right on, you're going to go all the way back over to 1.0. That should automatically create a keyframe. And then when you play this back, it's going to write on. Cinematic text. For this, we're going to come over to the Fusion tab. We are going to bring in a text plus node. With that highlighted, we're going to go over and type in whatever text we want. From there, we're going to increase the size, color, and shape, whatever it is that we want. In this case, we're going to choose this font, and we're going to choose this size. From there, we're going to click in the text box and choose follower. From there, we're going to go to the modifier section, and from that, we are going to choose the order and that will be one by one. We will also change the delay to 2.0. We're going to go up to the shading and then we're going to scroll down to the softness. And in the softness, we're going to put a keyframe at the X and at the Y at zero point. Then we're going to change both X and Y all the way up to 20. With this all the way up to 20, we are going to move your time line playhead up to about this number 45 and then we are going to take this all the way back down to zero on the x and the y then when you go back over to your timeline and play it it should be cinematic mode text do you want to go flying through your text to see your video First, you're going to take your video clip and put it onto your timeline. You're going to want to take your video and make it as long as you want. In this case, we're only going to go for four seconds. Once it's there, take your video clip and move it to a new timeline. Underneath of that, you're going to insert your text plus. Once your text plus is inserted into your timeline, you want to create that to be the same length as your video clip. We're going to disable the video clip itself so we can see the text clip. From there, we are going to adjust to the title and you will type in whatever it is you want to type in. You can change it to some impactful font that you wish. Once it's there, you're going to go back over here and increase the size to make it almost full screen. From there, you're going to go back over to your video clip and enable it. In your video clip, you're going to go here. You're going to go to the composite mode, change it from normal to darken. Once it's in darken, you can see the clip through the text. If you play it, it just plays like that, but we can make it better than that. So we are going to fly through the clip. Go back here to your zero point on your timeline. You're going to now go to the text itself. Go to settings and go to dynamic zoom. Change your dynamic zoom. And at the same time, you're going to come over here and you're going to change this to dynamic zoom. Once that is there, you will see that green is start, red is finished. We don't want that. We want to come back over here and 
swap it. So we want to change it so that we are actually starting on the out and going in. We are going to then change the size of our zoom in and say we're going to zoom in on this part of the video. So now if you were to play this, you are going to be zooming in and flying through the text. Do you want to have this cool mirrored text effect in your video? Stick around and I will show you how. We already have a timeline open, so we're going to include our picture into the timeline. From there, we're going to go over to the Fusion tab. Inside of the Fusion tab, we're going to then add a text node. To our tree, we're going to take the output of the text to the output of the medium. That will give us a merge node. So the green represents that this is in the foreground and the yellow represents this is in the background. So our text is in the foreground, the median is in the background. We're now going to select the text mode. We're going to put a word that we want in there. We're going to increase to a nicer font. And now we're going to change the location as well as the size of the font that we want. Remember not too big because we're going to want to actually be mirrored onto the surface that we're going to be reflecting into. In this case we're going to want to also change the color because the white just is not going to work for this. We're going to change the color of this text. With the text selected we are going to create a duplicate text. To do that control C with the text selected, click off onto the node anywhere, control V to make a duplicate text. With the output of this text, we are going to go to the output of the merge. And when we do that, we will see another merge node appear. Again, the green is in the foreground. With the text highlighted, we are going to then include a transform node. So we're going to hit control space and bring up a transform node in this tree. Now that we have the transform node selected, we can go over here and we can duplicate this word upside down. We're going to then bring that down to just below the other word that we had. You can either leave it connected or you can drop it down and leave a little bit of a gap if you want. Now we're going to go back over to the text node and we're going to click on the transform. From there we're going to go to shear and we're going to then put a little bit of a, a lean to our text. Not too much, just enough. In this case 0.01 will be enough for us now that we have the tilt where we want it, we're going to make sure that the text is selected again. We're going to then bring down a rectangle mask. With that mask, we're going to connect that mask to our text node. With the rectangle node selected, we're going to move it up a little bit until the bottom of our word disappears. Not a whole lot, not too much, just about a quarter of it will go away. And now we're going to soften that edge. And once we do, it just kind of makes it obscure a little bit and gives it a good little touch. With that, we're going to go back down to the merge node. And here on the blend tool, we're going to make that softer and a little bit more blurry and that will do it for our reflection into this. And you can tweak it the way you see fit and you can change colors, anything. You can add a drop shadow if you want to the first or all the reflections here to make them stand out just a little bit more if you desire. So if you go back over to your timeline, you will see your finished product.